Música What's up, LTBers? Travis here again with Lucky Tackle Box. And today we're gonna to be targeting those shallow water active bass in the early morning and late evening. And we're gonna be firing those fish up with Buddha Bait Snooze Alarm Buzz Bait, which we included in this month's Lucky Tackle Box. So I start off with a high speed reel, like a 7.3 to one gear ratio. And then I spool that up with uh, about 17 to 20 pound fluorocarbon or 50 pound braid. Then I pair that up with Castaway 6'10 spinnerbait rod. Um, with this lure, I want the fish to be able to actually suck it down. So if I had a real stiff rod, that fish wouldn't be able to inhale that bait as easily. And uh, what happens is, when you have the right rod, that fish will inhale it and that rod will load up, which means that rod will give enough for that fish to inhale the bait and then that backbone, by the time it hits the backbone of your rod, you're able to really get a good hook set with that single hook. Now there's a couple quick modifications I make to this bait. First one is that I always add a trailer. Now um, there's a couple different types of trailers you can throw, but the, the reason being for a trailer is so the fish, when they come up to hit this bait, they have some kind of profile that they can hit so they can zone in on. And by putting a, um, a trailer on the hook, that fish is gonna strike that bait and you're gonna end up hooking that fish. Um, in terms of which trailer to throw, um, Basically any kind of creature bait, there is no bad trailer to put on this thing. I just try to match it to the color of the bait I'm using and then, I, then also match it to the size of the uh, bait that's actually in that lake. So if I have real small little tiny bait in the lake, I'll probably use a smaller little profile trailer as well so it matches what's going on. The second thing is a trailer hook. Um, what happens is uh, sometimes these fish will come up and they'll short strike the bait. They'll just hit the tip of your trailer and stuff. And uh, in that case, putting on a trailer hook, which you can buy at your local tackle shop, there's all kinds of different versions out there. And you can add it on to the end of this uh, bait and hopefully improve your hook sets. Now, there's a couple keys to retrieval. Uh, first of all, it's, it's a real easy bait to use. You wanna cast out and uh, the second it hits the water, you wanna engage the reel. You wanna be reeling as soon as it hits the water. Uh, the reason being is you don't want that bait to sink. You want it to be on top of the water the, for the full time, especially fish around grass. If it sinks at all, it's gonna pick up some of that grass on the hook and it's not gonna run correctly. Second is the, uh, the rate of retrieval. Um, you know, as a general rule, you can reel it just fast enough to keep the bait above the water and those blades really making that noise. But, um, one thing I like to uh, emphasize is that if you change the rate of speed, you can trigger more strikes sometimes as well. And there isn't a speed that you can reel this thing fast enough that fish are not gonna be able to catch it. What happens is they hear this thing coming from a long ways off. So it doesn't surprise them. They hear that buzz bait coming from about 30 feet away. And so they are ready. If they wanna eat, they're ready for the second that thing gets to them, they're gonna pounce on it. Last is, um, the water depth you should be retrieving this in. And uh, I like, as a general rule, I like to keep it shallower than four to five feet of water. So I'm gonna parallel banks and stuff, or flats that are in, you know, in less than four to five feet of water because I want those shallow active fish. Now an exception to this is vertical structure. Um, if you're in deeper water but you've got trees coming up or pilings or something like that, the fish will suspend on that. And we'll talk a little bit more about that right now in location. When talking about location, the first thing is time of day. I want that first early morning bite. Oh, wow! I wasn't paying attention, that was a monster! You guys, quit distracting me. Holy schmoly! Oh my, that's gonna be on camera. We're gonna need to see a replay of that one. Ha <laughs> uh, ha I'm gonna be perfectly honest, that fish scared the crap out of me. <laughs> All right, so we know we wanna throw this thing pretty shallow, but we talked about exceptions to that. Um, anytime you have vertical structure like trees or uh, pilings or anything like that that's coming up near the surface, those fish will suspend at the top of that structure waiting for bait like a, uh, or a bait imitation to come over them that they're gonna come up and hit. But uh, when talking about location, the biggest factor I've seen with buzz baits is time of day. Um, the best time in the summer when that water's warm is you want before the sun comes up 
or right after the sun goes down in the evening time. And the reason being is the water is cooling down during that time. So these fish that have been deeper and cooler water all day, they're gonna move up shallower as the water cools and they're gonna feed during those small little windows. Uh, now as fall comes along, these water temps are actually gonna cool down. So these fish are gonna remain shallow throughout the day. Another thing that's happening in the fall is this bait is schooling up in shallow areas. So these fish are really honing into all these bait, all the bait that's up there. And this is what the buzz bait is perfect at imitating. So instead of just catching them in the morning and evenings, you're also gonna be catching them in the windows and the feeding windows throughout the day when those fish are chasing bait. The reality is this bait can be a little intimidating to beginner anglers. Uh, you know, a big hunk of metal making a bunch of noise on the surface is hard to believe it's gonna get hit by a fish. But the reality is buzz baits like, uh, you know, Buddha bait snooze alarm are made to mimic the bait fish that these bass are honed into this time of the year. So keep throwing it, and the second you get your first blow up, I promise you two will be a believer in this technique. Once again, I'm Travis with Lucky Tackle Box. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.